Hello, friends. Glad to see you on my channel. Subscribe and be the first to learn new facts about the history of interesting photographs. Today I will tell you another interesting story of a famous photograph. Black Power Salute, John Dominis, 1968. 1968, the year of the Olympics in Mexico City, which went down in history not only for its hot climate, sports records, but for the famous photograph that flew around the world and became a symbol of the struggle for the rights of black people. The subjects of this photo are Tommy Smith and John Carlos. Even before the Olympics Tommy Smith founded the Olympic Project for Human Rights, almost immediately after the assassination of Martin Luther King, Jr. also 1968. The group saw the Olympic Games as an opportunity to agitate for better treatment of black athletes and black people around the world. And the 1968 Olympics helped voice opposition to the status of black people in sports, as well as throughout the world. On the morning of October 16, 1968, American athlete Tommy Smith won the 200-meter race in a world record time of 19.83 seconds. Australian Peter Norman finished second with a time of 20.06 seconds, and American John Carlos finished third with a time of 20.10 seconds. After the race was over, all three went to the podium to collect their medals. Just before the start of the Star Spangled Banner, Smith, the gold medalist, and Carlos, the bronze medalist, bowed their heads and raised their black gloved fists into the air. The two American athletes received their medals barefoot but wearing black socks, symbolizing black poverty. Smith wore a black scarf around his neck to symbolize black pride. Carlos unzipped his tracksuit to show solidarity with all blue-collar workers in the U.S., and wore a beaded necklace that he said was meant for those people who were lynched or killed and for whom no one prayed, who were hanged and tarred. Both American athletes intended to bring black gloves to the event, but Carlos forgot his and left them in the Olympic Village. It was Australian Peter Norman who suggested that Carlos wear Smith's left-handed glove. For this reason, Carlos raised his left hand rather than his right, as opposed to the traditional black power salute. As the star-spangled banner played, Smith and Carla saluted with their heads bowed, and at that moment the most famous photo from the Olympics was taken. John Dominis, a resourceful photographer, later published these photographs in Life magazine and they became known throughout the world. Smith later said, If I win, I will be an American, not a black American. But if I did something bad, they would say that I am a black man. We are black and proud to be black. Black America will understand what we did tonight. Their message was very clear. Before we welcome America, America must treat black people as equals. But at that moment everything did not end so well. When they left the podium, they were booed by the crowd. And the president of the International Olympic Committee, Avery Brundage, considered this domestic political statement inappropriate for the apolitical international forum that the Olympic Games were supposed to become. In response to their actions, he ordered Smith and Carlos suspended from Team USA and banned from the Olympic Village. When the U.S. Olympic Committee refused, Brundage threatened to disqualify the entire U.S. track and field team. This threat led to the suspension of two athletes from the Games. An IOC spokesman said it was a deliberate and violent violation of the fundamental principles of the Olympic spirit. Returning to the States, Smith and Carlos were humiliated, criticized and ostracized at home, and their families received death threats. They were all abused, and unfortunately, in 1977, Carlos' ex-wife committed suicide, a tragedy for which he is responsible. But the only thing I regret is that I didn't think enough about protecting my family. I didn't think people would attack my wife and children. I thought they would just come for me, Carla said. We were just people who saw a need to bring attention to the inequality in our country, Smith said a few years later in an HBO documentary about the 1968 Mexico City Games. I don't like that people look at it as a negative thing. There was nothing but a fist raised in the air and a bowed head, recognizing the American flag rather than symbolizing hatred of it. Smith and Carlos were also ostracized and criticized by the U.S. sports establishment. Time magazine introduced the five-ring Olympic logo with the words angrier, nastier, uglier instead of faster, higher, stronger. 
and later the athletes were permanently expelled from the U.S. team. True, later Tommy and John found themselves in American football. Norman, who had been sympathetic to his competitors' protest, was reprimanded by his country's Olympic authorities and ostracized by the Australian media. He was not selected for the 1972 Summer Olympics despite finishing third in the trials. Smith and Carla served as pallbearers at Norman's funeral in 2006. In 2016, athletes received a formal apology for discrimination from the U.S. Olympic Committee.